In a special sitting of Oyamu District Council yesterday, councillors and dignitaries passed a number of resolutions. The resolutions include a demand that government fulfills them in honor of the late State Minister for Labor and Industrial Relations, retired Colonel Charles Okero Engora. Some of the resolutions include gazetting his ministerial position for Elangi, a posthumous promotion to Brigadier General, pay school fees for children and orphans, among others. In response, the government chief whip Hamson Obua has promised the people of Lango that government will look into the resolutions. A resolution of this nature must not remain verbal. A resolution of this nature must be contained and duly signed. And on Saturday, we will ensure that the resolution of the people of Lamo, adopted from this joint council, is handed over to the main government representative at the barrio, such that we have a written document we can refer to. Obua described the slain Kano Engola as a leader who tirelessly worked for the restoration of peace in northern Uganda. The late Kano may not have his contribution or roles he played written in black and white, but it is evident that his role and contribution remain in the heart and in the mind of the people of Lango, the people of Northern Uganda, and the people of Uganda. Engora's body was received at his home in Awangi village. <laughs> Engora, who was gunned down by his bodyguard, Private Wilson Sabit, last week, will be laid to rest tomorrow at Awangi village, Icheme sub-county in Oyamu district.